Hey, hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I'm your host, Kieran Tross. I'm back with another how to video. Today, I'm going through assigning roles in Azure Active AD. What we're going to concentrate in this video is really specifically around users and restricting um, access by resource groups as well. Azure Role Based Access Control is the authorization system you use to manage access to Azure resources. To grant access, you assign roles to users, groups, service principles, or manage identities at a particular scope. What I want to really focus on here in this video is really users and resource groups. There may be a time where you may, in your career, where you're working and you're like, okay, you know what? We have a team of uh, users or a group of people that we want to give them access, but you know what? We want to really make sure that we're giving them access only in, in a defined scope. And resource groups helps us do that. If you set up a resource group and then you apply and put those resources in it, whether it's virtual machines, SQL servers, or whatever the case may be, you can now say, okay, I'm going to give you an elevated right, like contributor or something similar to that within those resources. At the same time, you're not causing any complications towards your organization where later on you can kind of get uh, dinged for um, any security reasons. So without further ado, let me jump into it and explain. So we're going to go, we're in Act, Azure Active Directory. We're going to go down to users. One of the first things I want to go into is I want to uh, give one of my users a specific role. So I'm going to go here to Eddie Murphy. And while I'm in Eddie Murphy, I'm going to go assign roles. And at the moment, you can see if it finishes loading, there's no directory roles assigned. So I'm going to come up here to this plus icon and hit add assignments. And Eddie Murphy is a part of the help desk. So I'm going to give him application administrator. I'm going to click add. So you can look here and you can see where the assigned roles are. I'm going to refresh my screen. There you have it. He's there. He's given the application administrator role and you can see it says resource name, the directory, a resource type organization and is direct. I'm going to come down here to Azure role assignments. And you see there's no role assignments found for the selected subscription. So this is the role assignments, but if you have certain things in the subscription that you're giving people access to, then you can see stuff there as well. And I'll explain some more in greater detail. So next we're going to come here. We're going to go to our resource groups. We have this resource group called RG billing. Here we're going to click on RG billing and we're going to come over to here to access control IM. I am mean identity access management. And we're going to click on role assignments. Here on the role assignments, you only see my name here because I'm the owner. But I'm going to click here and click add, and I'm going to add role assignment. There's other feature to add role co-administrator, and then there's custom roles as well. So we're not going to go to custom roles. We're going to go add role assignment. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, a role for a virtual machine. So you can type in your information here. You can change this from all to whatever you want it to do. And then you can have your categories here. And if I go here and I click on compute, you see there's all this virtual machine stuff pops up. So I'm going to say, you know what? We're going to give you virtual machine contributor for this resource. And we're going to select the members. And I'm going to go here to and let's see what happens when we search. We have Eddie Murphy. I think of family matters. Sorry about that. And then we go to next review and assign. And there we have it. So now the, he's a virtual machine contributor, Eddie Murphy for this resource, right? This resource group. So anything that falls within here, uh, any of those virtual machines that have elevated rights. So if we come back here and we go to Azure Active Directory, 
and we go to users and we go to Eddie Murphy, you can see assign roles. We still have the application administrator, but if I come down here to this Azure role assignments, I'll open it up on a second screen. Sorry about that. You see, it says role, virtual machine contributor, resource name, RG billing. That was the resource group we did. Resource type is a resource group assigned to Eddie Murphy and there's no conditions to it. So that's a quick how to video. You know, I like to keep these short and simple. Uh, if you have any questions or something that you wanted me to explain in greater detail, please leave a comment. I will definitely be reading them. Um, if you have any uh, videos or something that you're studying within Azure and you're like, hey, I'm having an issue getting an understanding of this, you know, can you, you know, make a video about this? Or if you could just send me a quick note, I am, I'm more than happy to do that as well. So if you like this video and you found it informative, please hit the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is, as always, is to get you from a scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. See you next time. Thank you.